Oh, so hi everyone. Just thought I would just bring your attention to this because this is quite a controversial move from Burger King. Police ask McDonald's to halt milkshake sales during the Farage rally. Perfectly sensible. So Edinburgh branch also stops ice cream sales after right wing politicians targeted with drinks. This is perfectly fine. Um, so the police have basically just asked this particular branch to stop selling milkshakes and they've also stopped selling ice creams just for the duration of Nigel Farage's visit, right? It also happens that Tommy Robinson is in town. So Burger King put out this tweet. Dear people of Scotland, we're selling milkshakes all weekend. Have fun. Love Burger King. Hashtag just saying. So... This is kind of a bit of a cheeky post, but it's also kind of a bit sinister, right? Because I don't actually agree with throwing milkshakes over people you disagree with politically, because I think it's a threat. And the threat is that this time it's just a milkshake, but next time it could be something much worse than a milkshake. I don't need to go into details, you know, there's a lot of people who have suffered horrendous attacks from acid and other chemicals like bleach. And, you know, this is kind of like a soft threat, right? This time, it's just milkshake, but next time, you better watch out. You better do what we say. So, yeah, I, I just find it very threatening. And then Burger King clarified, We never endorse violence or wasting our delicious milkshakes. So enjoy this weekend and please drink responsibly, people. So they've kind of backpedaled a little bit. But nevertheless, it's kind of a very soft kind of incitement to violence they didn't quite cross the line i'm not saying anyone did anything wrong here necessarily but what i am saying is if but if mcdonald's have been banned from selling milkshakes right for political reasons and burger king is sort of saying we sell milkshakes and they're sort of making it very obvious in a way they're sort of saying well we're not advocating that you throw milkshakes at people, but if you did hypothetically want to throw milkshakes at people, we sell them. I mean, this is kind of what they're doing, and okay, it's kind of a joke. I kind of think I might have taken it a bit too seriously initially, and it is probably just a joke, but nevertheless, come on, Burger King, come on. You know, you're a great company. You make good burgers. You don't need to kind of pander to people, and the reaction's been quite mixed. Some people obviously are in favour of it. I don't know why anyone would be in favour of assaulting your political components in an open free democracy, which is what we have. But there we go. So, that's most of what I wanted to say. Owen Jones chimed in, who I don't like very much, but he said, okay, so Burger King are apparently... So Burger King apparently just joined the anti-fascist resistance like attacking conservatives and right-wing politicians is some kind of anti-fascist resistance. There is no real fascism in the UK. You might get the occasional person who is slightly disturbed, but there is no mainstream fascist party, right? Because that would be completely ridiculous. Everyone's a Democrat. No one believes in violence. Even people like Tommy Robinson don't actually advocate violence, right? He might have said one or two stupid things. I'm not going to go into that now. I'm not saying he necessarily has, but still, we were a long way away from any kind of fascism. Then Owen Jones said, I've got a piece coming up about profit-driven companies. Oh, now all of a sudden they're a profit-driven company, which really annoys Owen Jones. Maybe they should be nationalised. We should get burgers on the British National Burger Company. Yeah, Jeremy Corbyn, I can just imagine he's, he's dreaming of that, thinking, oh, burgers should be owned by the people. They shouldn't be owned by private corporations profit-driven companies woke washing for commercial gain so this tweet won't age well just a heads up i also very briefly wanted to say that anytime you initiate violence there is always the potential that the violence can escalate right so you might think that throwing a milkshake is just harmless fun but really it could lead to much much worse something much worse happening tommy was in Oldham, in Manchester, which is probably what the Burger King tweet was referring to. No one got seriously hurt, but there were a few stones thrown around and there were a few people yelling about various things. So that's all I really wanted to say. Don't throw milkshakes at people.